Hi, Sue Wilson. I have a lovely wine card to share with you today. Now these are great for any of your friends that you like to socialize with that drink wine. So we'll show you what we've done with today's card. I am using the three-dimensional uh, rose bed embossing folder. This is an absolute favorite of mine. Brand new. Love it. We also have the grapevine border and I'll show you how all these little extra bits work. We're going to use bits from our Necessity uh, set called Merlot and the Necessity set called Chianti. So we're going to use a little bit of both of those for today's card. Okay, I'm going to start with the embossing. I've got a piece of coconut white card. I'll give you a quick measurement on it. What is that? Five, just under five and three quarters. And just a hair over six and a half on that. So I'm going to pop that into our rose bed. Get that, and I tell you what, it's a very deep folder. I find it's easy if you just give it a light spritz of water. And then we're going to run that through with just our raspberry adapter plate. Okay, there we go. So that gives you just a really nice very very deep deboss and I'm going to do a little inking with that. Let me move some of my pieces out of the way. I'm going to bring in some shaded lilac. This is one of my favorite distress oxides. Pick up a little bit of this and we're going to do some corner to corner kind of shading here. And it just goes right over the top of that. And I'm kind of going to go up the edge a little bit too. A little bit heavier up in this corner. Just brings in a lovely color around the edge here. There we go. So there's a spot there right in the center that I'm going to do a bit more inking. I've got a circle cut out, so we're going to pop a little bit of ink on here, just off to the side, and this will go right behind where our wine glass is going to go. Do a little smoothing out. You can get a little bit heavier up here if you like tiny bit more. I want that to show. There we go. That looks pretty good. And pop that to the side. I've got a um, circle that I've cut out with the double stitch circles and put a little bit of mounting foam on the edge of that. And I am just going to pop that right down so it picks up the edge of that. There we go. We'll come back to that in just a second. I've got the Chianti bottle done up um, out of some tan card, and I am going to pop the dye back over that. We're going to do a little bit of inking to bring out some of the detail on that one. I've got some gathered twigs here. That's one of the distress oxides. Make sure that's on good. Just in fact, let's use this in since it's quite a small area. I want to really work that into that opening around the dies up onto the handle a little bit at the top here across I think I've got them all you can check it and go back if you need to nope looks good don't forget you'll need to wipe that off to use it again but I'm just going to set it to the side for the moment Okay, and I'm going to bring in our um, grapevine here. So what you have is a couple little extra pieces here. Here's the solid grapes, which I have actually already cut out of a sort of a purple card. So we are going to just put those right over the top. And I've actually left these in. Um, it doesn't matter. If you want to go right, right over the top of them, it doesn't show. So you can either leave them in or not. And there is a left and a right facing on here. A little bit of a tilt to them. Let me just try and get that on there straight. And then here's the center one. Pop that right over the top. You could put this behind too if you want. Oh, let me get that straighter. Okay, and the last little guy is over here. A little bit on the back. Oops, too much. There we go. Pop that right over the top. Let me get these all straightened up a tiny bit here. Move them around. Okay, so there's the grapes. Now I've already done one side of the leaves 
and there's a left and a right so I think this is the one I need I'm going to cut a little more green here bring back our cutting plates pop that on give this one a quick cut okay I'm just going to leave them on there since they have stayed um, I know they're very tiny but if you put a little bit of a glue dot on a pokey tool, you can pick them up quite easily. And let's just pop them into place. There's um, two smaller ones and three larger ones on here. So you can just line them up. There we go. I'll do these. Get them in place and you can kind of move them around if you need to. There we go this one so it just adds a little bit of color to your vine I think it's quite pretty and that stay there and this last little guy oops, turn him around like so oops let's try that again cut the gluey part there we go looks really nice so we're going to go ahead and put that onto the top of our card but let's put our backing on first okay back to tell you what I'll add a little glue and that'll give a second to set up and we can put just a tiny bit on the backs of these guys here okay pop that down I've just gone with a white on white backing with that. So now I'm going to put this into the very top of the card. Sort of line that up right in the center. That looks pretty good. Push that up just a tiny bit. You can form it a little bit too if you want to have a little bit more of an arch to it. I'm going to go ahead and add the um, circle into the center of the card. And let me just put a little bit of mounting foam here. Peel that off. We'll give it some dimension. Put that right about there. Okay. And I'm going to put the, um, what I call the county bottle in with a little bit of mounting foam onto the side of that. Just sort of tuck it right under the edge there. There we go. And for the wine glass, what I've done is I've cut one out of white. I'm going to add a little bit of mounting foam to the back. In fact, I am going to put a double piece there and raise it up just slightly. Okay. And I've done another one out of the purple. So what I'm going to do is just I've cut the top off and then I'm going to just trim the bottom part even. I'm going to add it to the glass. So it looks like it's full of wine. Oops. Just get that on there nice and straight. Looks pretty good. You can also take a um, like a marker. This one is Seedless Preserves. And you can add just a little bit of a highlight if you want to the side of the glass. Do that. You can use a tiny bit of a blue pencil. This one's very, very little and add some highlights to the, the white part of the glass if you like to. It's been very well used. And we're going to put this one so it just sort of overlaps the edge of that. Just like that. And the sentiment, which says you had me at Merlot, um, we're going to pop that into the corner. And I've used that same sort of um, grape tone card with it. Because we're putting that onto the embossed area, I'm going to add a little bit more glue to that. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Pop that right down into this corner. Just fits underneath that circle. There we go. What a fun card that would be to send to any of your friends that you like to enjoy a glass of wine with. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget our YouTube channel, and I am now on Instagram at Sue Wilson Crafter. Come and look for me there, please.